Hello everyone, how are you doing? Let's continue our previous video on the mediator design pattern. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and do it because we need it for this demo. I put the link in the description below. In the previous video, we talked about this diagram and how we are going to implement an airport. I said we are going to continue with another example. Today we are going to implement another example. The form example. A form is what we have in all of our applications. A login form and a register form are available in most of the applications. So why should we use the mediator design pattern for this? Because if we don't use the mediator design pattern, we have to copy over everything from the register form to the login form. For example, we have to change the event handlers for the text change of the username after copying it over to the login form. But with the mediator design pattern, we can avoid all of this. So let's check the diagram and then go to implementation. Here we have the abstract mediator, the central unit. It has a send method which accepts an event and a colleague. The colleague is a control. It has a reference to the mediator and it has a method called handle event and it takes the event. So every control can handle the event. But what is this handle event? It is a method that will be called by the mediator on the controls. And it only happens whenever any control triggers an event. Here we have a button and a text box. A button has a click event and a text box has a text change event. The form is just an implementation of the mediator. It holds a list of colleagues, which are the controls inside it, and an add method for adding the controls to it and the send method. So let's do this. Here I have created a console application. We start with creating an interface called the mediator. And this interface contains a send method, which takes an event and a colleague. Let's quickly create the colleague. It's an abstract class. Oh, let's fix this. Okay. It's an abstract class which takes an eye mediator. and it's injected through its constructor. It also has a handle event method, a handle event, which also takes an string, which is the event. I added this add sign because event is a keyword in C sharp. We can't add a name, which is a keyword. This way we fix this problem. Okay. In this handle method, we just want to log the event. Okay. Now let's create the button class. button extends colleague let's just make this method abstract and put it inside the button or text box here the button says let's overwrite this here the, bot the button says button handling event okay now let's just copy this over here and we say text box the text 
text box says text box handling event okay now let's add a button click event let's add this here trigger click and we pass an arc to it what this does is that it passes this to the mediator so we write this mediator that send and we say event and we add the arc we also have to pass this this indicates the colleague that is sending the event let's copy this over to the text box and we change this to trigger text changed it also does the same thing it passes an event to the mediator it also passes itself to it so anyone handling this event can understand who is sending the event so let's close this and make or form form is the implementation of iMediator let's add a list of colleagues here and add another method for adding colleagues now in the send method we want to pass the event to the other colleagues other than the colleague that is sending the event so we add a for each on colleagues and if this colleague is not equal to the sender of the method to the sender of the event we call its handle event passing the event to it We could pass the colleague to this method if we needed it and we can add any logic here for example we can filter the events and send just text events to the buttons if we want to add some validations to disable the button now that everything is done let's use them let's create a form let's create a button here we have to send the mediator to the button who is the mediator? the form let's create a text box it also accepts the form Now let's add these controls to the form. So form dot add colleague. We add button. We also add text box. Now we can say button dot trigger click. We can also do the same thing. For the text box text change to sum in valid value now let's add a console 
that read line here to keep the application open now let's run this to see what happens as you can see when the button click was called the text box handles the event and is writing the argument that we passed here after that the text box text change has been called and the button is handling that event okay so why are we handling these events inside other colleagues if you haven't get the idea it's because we can react to the events this way normally if the input of the text box is invalid we disable the button but we do this in the handle event of the text box so we are referencing to the buttons in the handle event of the text box but now with this new way the event of text change is reaching the buttons and they are deciding to react to it or not that's the whole idea now go ahead and change your applications to this new way let me know if you did this you can implement this in anything that you want i did this in a console app you can do this in a windows form wpf angular react android whatever you do tell me in the comments do you think this is useful or not and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel in the next video we are going to use a popular library for this so subscribe and enable the notification bell if you don't want to miss that one until next time adios amigos